Well, friends, it is 2 a.m. And we all are as sleepy as hell. But in fact we are not, maybe a little bit, thanks to your anabolics. And you know what, guys? We are going to the Ferris wheel tonight. We are going to make history. We will revive the heart of Pripyat. We're going to use this bike to make the ferris wheel spinning. The power of this motor will be just enough. That's all BS, don't listen to him. I'm just going to push this wheel and it will start working. Now we're going to examine the wheel. We will see all the damage it has taken. And look at the mechanism. Hush, silence. You heard that too? An animal there. No. Human. They're stalkers. I don't think so. What animal it can be? A wolf? You know, that's all BS. They're gonna see us. Who's hiding the bike? I don't hear anything now. So we're starting? Yeah. This is the mechanism, guys. And there is the special peat. There are the plummets. On the bottom of... Wow! That is just what we wanted. Left one is taken off. That means that the left mechanism isn't working now. It used to be the main. And now we are going to try to launch it. First we will try it manually. This must be the brakes. And the coil is over here. Fancy that, they seem to be jammed. We have to jerry-rig it somehow. What do? A crowbar is our best option. There is a shaft, but of course I can't spin it. Because the brakes are jammed hard. Let's fix them. What a... And there it goes. The entire wheel is going to be spinned now, I tell you. Be careful with it, Alex. The way all things are preserved here is just amazing, guys. Did you see that? What? It is spinning. See? Yeah. Now we're talking. Now this belt is turning the entire wheel. And this thing is shaking. Okay, now look at it. See that? Yeah, there was some movement. Oh my! Are you doing that manually? With my hand. Really? And now I'm sure we can spin it with motor. And this part is really bothering me. We have to get rid of it. I just want to set here the bike and turn the throttle. Uh-huh, let me see. Oh, it works! It seems like we are going to launch it as planned, through the mechanism. If only we could remove this part, it spoils our party. We have got some anti-rust spray, be careful about it, you can get some radiation. Aha, it worked well. This anti-rust is wonderful. Come on you, there we go. It's done, holy wheel. Anti-rust spray is miracle. We have removed this little clamp and now it must be opened. Give us power, Vadim. Both hands. That's it. Good job. Now we need to push the wheel right here. The launching will happen very soon. Alright, carefully. We have done it. Just look at this. Alex, careful. That's okay, press the throttle, little by little. We should push it harder and fixate it. Wait, hang on. Raise it up a little. Don't touch the throttle right now or we're gonna be hurt. And now turn it slowly. Got it? Add some more. It doesn't go. Is the display working? No. <sighs> that's a pity. The mechanism of the wheel is in good condition, and that's awesome. All's working. And even when I do it manually, the entire wheel starts shaking and moving. All we have to do now is get the protection out of the bike battery to make it working non-stop. Foam plastic here. Maybe that's why it wasn't working? We have to tinker with all these wires and the battery will not turn off then. Look at this USB connector. It's a fake. There is no USB connector here. It isn't even connected? It is not welded to the scheme. There is plenty of foam plastic instead. And there is a the battery. And it is as Chinese as China. We have taken an additional battery. And now let's install the bike again. These guys are crazy. They just can't give up. Let's put it right here. There. There we go. 
Hold it. Come on, spin. Push harder. It is spinning now, I can feel that. It goes hardly, but it works. We have to try better. That was good. Cracking. Oh my gosh. Damn physics. When we push the wheel to the shaft, some weird things happen. It seems like we lack the torque. And I've got an idea. We can use a sprocket. And some stalkers came to us. Can I film your face? Hello. Vadim is a little busy. I was standing there and heard someone, and I realized that it were you, because I heard the voice of Vadim. I had remembered your voice, Vadim. We were just wondering. Yeah, I saw someone was sticking around here. We have two options. First, sprockets. Aha! Uh -huh. We will have to attach a sprocket to the wheel really hard. And it must be perfectly situated. And the second option is to use a winch. I know one secret. It will make the wheel spinning that easily, that even wind can move it. You mean removing the plummets? We will remove it and the rope will become weak. And nothing is going to block it, because right now it is blocked by the plummet. Can you really do this? Yeah. There are the plummets hanging there. They hold the rope and we will remove them now. No way, I need Vadim here. That is plan C, by the way. Plan C? Really? Yeah, let's start it. When are we gonna go to Poland? <laughs> These protection masks are getting on my nerves, you know? I hope you have filmed that, right? Too much micro hands here right now. There were just two micro hands here right now. Two and something. Don't touch the rope. Don't use it. Just push this cabin. Try to move it. The rope is too weak now. It doesn't work. Is that too much? What is the rate here? Measure it closer to the moss. It is growing. Measure it over there. It will be 5000. No, thank you. Three micro hands is too much for me. Vadim is just crazy. There is a pit over there and it wasn't cleared up. Oh, come on, Vadim. Sounds interesting. Let's measure it. Don't let it touch anything, please. So, what do we have here? How many? Don't put it. How's that? 87. I think that's okay. This pit was closed when it all happened, I'm sure. The battery is low. It falls back. I tell you, the battery died. Look what these crazy guys do. I hope no one is going to be hurt now. It is shaking really hard, guys. Hey guys, we're gonna run now. It is shaking hard. Someone gonna hear this. Do you realize that it's all shaking like this? Do you hear this crazy sound? And some water falls from it. Unfortunately, I can't turn it. We have tested the mechanism and that's good. We have to get out of here now. The excursions are coming. We have to think it over. Right, at least we have two plans. And they will work. Can you measure my boost, please? What do you say, Dima? Doesn't he have a radiation phobia? He thinks really much about it. Too much. He has an irrational fear of radiation. He makes us measure the radiation of boots. Try to measure my hands. It will be something. Just try it with my hands. I was touching the wheel. That looks normal. It doesn't grow and doesn't fall. Look at this sweater. It was in the epicenter. And it doesn't emit radiation. Really? It can't get the radiation. But what about his boots? The rate is normal. It has some radiation, actually. He has an irrational fear of radiation. Whatever we tell him, he is still afraid of it. Your face is okay, Anton. I've got an idea. There's a fire department and some protection clothes. This sounds nice. You really wanna wear it? Oh yeah. This plan was cool. When we attached the bike, it was going really well. Yeah. We will do it again. The batteries died. We have to charge two batteries and connect them consequently. And the power will become hard. The battery is dead. Look at it. Now I go full throttle. Yeah, just like I told you. <laughs> Sit right here in front. You mean the steering? Yeah. 
This taxi is called Two Stupid Stalkers. Maybe you wanna sit here? <laughs> it's vibrating hard, isn't it? Just like the cyber skin. Just have a look at these cute paintings on the Ferris wheel. Yeah, look at their fat tummies. They're cute too. You have all the cyber skin again, haven't you? I told you, Anton, don't do this! Alex, do something with him, please. Does he mean the seat of the bike, doesn't he? Okay, let me tell you about it. Don't do this! Now we have to find a spot with electricity. We will attach there some high voltage wires to put some electricity right to our stalker flat. To be honest, that's the real pleasure to ride through Pripyat on my electric bike because there is no one here. I can go wherever I want, the entire city is empty. Yeah, this feeling is hard to explain. I can't stop thinking that I am in the normal city. Just look at all these houses. Actually, they all abandoned. Isn't that the place we had a breakage? Yes, it is. And it all changed so much. Now I can hardly see the platform here. The intake lantern. I don't have the tool with me. I see the bulb. Let's check out its condition, maybe? There are some wires. Let's see. What is that, Anton? A shop. That is a Soviet stall. It's just like the real one. A fly flew in my eye. That's okay for a bike ride. Get out! Holy prepaid. There's a deer. What? Deer? Damn it. There's a deer. And there's a bus over there. Really? Oh my gosh. Run. A dog? What the hell? 